Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Clicker Game Tutorial. Today in this video, we're going to start off by adding something kind of fun. We're going to be adding Think uh, think the Golden Cookie from Cookie Clicker. It'll show up on screen every once in a while, and on top of that, uh, when, you'll, when you click on it, you know, you'll get, you'll get a decent amount of money. So, let's set up how to make that randomly show up somewhere on the screen, and when you click it, you'll get some money. If, you're, if you've got a keen eye and you're really watching. So let me make a new sprite. Or what I'm really going to do is I'm actually just going to choose another egg. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to choose another egg. And this egg. Yeah. So let's just take this egg and let's just make it golden. And by golden, I mean lazily make it yellow. Uh, obviously, do spend great deals of time. Do spend, definitely spend time on this. Make your things look good. I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial, getting the stuff done that needs to get done. Uh, so here, here's what we'll do. We'll say, green flag clicked, and you will hide. First of all, you want to want to set the size that you want it at. I honestly think this is a good size for me. You'll set it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to do that right here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to actually put in a forever loop. And in this forever loop, we're going to choose how long it's going to be until this thing shows up. We're going to put this in a forever loop so that it'll show up. And once you click on it or you don't click on it, you'll then wait that time again and do it over and over and over again. So what I like to do is I like to come to the operators tab and grab this pick random uh, operator, put it right in that thing. And then I can select two so it's not the same interval every single time. Say I want it to happen for the sake of the tutorial, just so we can actually see it happen. Um, say my mem lock isn't on. There we go, now it is. Five to ten seconds. It'll show up every five to ten seconds. So now what we can have it do is we want it to go somewhere random. So we'll, there's actually this block in motion called go to random position, so it's really good for us. And then we're going to have point in direction just so it can be like turned at an angle. If you don't want it to be turned, you don't have to do this. But let's say I want it to be turned. So what I can do here is how do we make that random? We can actually just duplicate this random block and we can set this to uh, 179 and negative 180. That'll just make it so that, oh, I guess it'd be negative 180 to 179. That'd give you pretty much complete full rotation 360 wise, pretty much entirely full rotation. See if you take a look and we hit this, you can see the egg is turning a whole lot. And just like that, I think it looks really nice. So. Then what I'll have it do is I will have it show because again we hit it, it will show. And then we're gonna make another wait. And what we're going to well we're not gonna actually make another wait. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's say let, let's let's do this right. No, we can do that actually. Let's have it. Let's say you you have to get it in th three seconds, two point five seconds. Let's say that. Well, I won't do a, I won't do that. You can do a pick random. I'm gonna do an interval for how long you have to do it. And then we'll just have it hide so what that's going to look like is it's going to look like this every five to ten seconds at random is going to show up on the screen let's wait for it to do that boom shows up on the screen after 2.5 seconds it disappears fantastic also i just realized that your uh, screen is a little bit stretched don't worry about that it's just because of the monitor i'm using don't even worry okay so you saw what happens. Now we gotta make sure that you can actually click on it. For that, all I'm going to do is we're just gonna grab this one sprite click because it'll work just fine because it'll only work when the sprite is showing. If you want to be extra careful, you can feel free to have it go to like a really high corner every time. If you really want to, just as like an extra measure. I like to do it on stuff like this just to make sure. So when this sprite is clicked, let's say it'll just change your money by, say it'll do it by 100, right? Say it goes up, sorry, those are my Discord notifications, I'm very sorry. Say it goes up by 100 every single time you click it, right? And then right after, we're just going to want to do that, just so it goes away and you can't do it more than once. But also, we're going to want to put in here a wait until... Grab a not from your operators tab go to your sensing and say mouse down inside of there that way it'll declare sense when you push down the mouse and then you'll have to unpush the mouse in order for it to continue which means that'll prevent you from holding down the button getting a bunch of ones let's take a look now 
hop into the game. Wait for the gold knight to show up somewhere. Once it does, when you click on it, we should get a hundred once it shows up. There it is. We click on it. Boom. We got ourselves a hundred money. And look at that. Now we now we're getting big bank, big chilling. I already know what's up. Look at that. Boom. Another egg. Da -da 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 Awesome. Okay, cool. We got an egg they can show up now. Again, I'd recommend setting this really high. Maybe like every 50 to 75 seconds or something like that. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Whatever you want to do. Mess around with the number. See what you like. And yeah, you'll get something pretty basic like that. If you wanted to add some nice little effects, something that you could do. Let's just move this for now. Let's choose to set the ghost effect to 100. What you could do then is you could come into your control, grab a repeat, say 20 times, and then do change ghost effect by negative five. And the reason negative five is five times 20 is 100. If you did 10, you'd do this by 10, just, just so you know that it'll equal out to 100. That's why I didn't 20 and fives. And that'll change the ghost effect. It'll drop it all the way down to zero, but it'll do it gradually right and then just as a double check set the ghost effect to zero and we're also gonna do that so now you'll see that gives this little bit of an effect um, here i'll set this i'll set this let's just say two three three just so that it'll be three seconds when it shows up take a look and it'll give a new little effect to our golden egg oh it didn't work hold up hold up Oh, that's why. We need to put the show before the ghost effect starts. Which is probably after it sets the effect to 100. There we go. Now let's take a look at them. Gotta make sure they're in the right order, you know? And then boom. See, it just gradually slides itself in. And then what you could really do is you could actually do it the other way around when it has to go and hide. So just like this. And then right here right after the 2.5 seconds instead of changing it by negative 5 you'll change it by 5 and then set the ghost effect to 100 do this and now what it'll look like is it will show up and then if you don't get it in time it'll fade itself away if you wanted to add something even more to make the show even cooler what you could do is you could set the size to something right Say you set the size to 120, right? Set size to 120. Then you could change the size. Since I did 20, you'd have to set up these numbers in a way that works for you. Negative one would get me down to the 100 that I like, right? So now if we take a look, it'll add something even nicer. It'll, it'll look like it's falling, right? So boom, boom, it looks like it fell. Super nice, nice little effect like that. Another thing you could do for fun you could turn this direction by say say 10 right and then when it shows up kind of fall in like that right maybe ease up on how much it turns a little bit maybe like five see how you like it stuff like that just just just, just play around with stuff see see what works well for you that just showed up underneath my face so you couldn't see it spawn in let's wait for another one boom nice little effect just like that and it just kind of does its own thing and then here we could add we could add say say let's add one more thing say when it disappears we want to change its size by negative negative one like it'll shrink and disappear as it does its thing so we wait for it to show up falls into place some fun stuff to do if you're interested do some stuff like that but that's what i'm gonna leave the tutorial thank you all so much for watching if you liked it like it didn't like it liked it anyways because something something kind of fun you can add while you're at it when i subscribe to the channel jump my comment that helped me a lot thank you all so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace